Can HOA fees affect your home purchase? We're going to talk about that in just a moment. Clarkson Premier Team, welcome to your new hometown. Hi, I'm Amy Clarkson with the Clarkson Premier Team. We're a real estate team that services West Fort Worth and the surrounding areas to include Granbury. If you liked this video and want to know more information, we're going to be releasing a video each Wednesday, so make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Today we're going to talk about homeowner association fees and how they relate to you when you make a home purchase. When you find that perfect home and it isn't an HOA or homeowners association, there are fees that can come into play. And there's three different things we're going to talk about. There's going to be upfront fees or costs that are involved when you make a home purchase. The second one's going to be your ongoing cost that are involved when you buy a home in an HOA. And third, what does it mean when it comes time that you want to sell that home in that HOA? The first thing we're going to talk about is upfront cost. That is something when you find that perfect home in the HOA, there are fees that are involved in the purchase contract. They are, of course, negotiable. Who pays them? It can be a combination of both buyer and seller. It can be all buyer expense and it can be all seller expense. Those fees are typically for the resale certificate, the initiation fee, and a transfer fee. And what we have found in the Granbury area, most HOAs can range, that cost can range up from as little as $100 on up to $8,000. So it's important to understand who's going to pay those costs and how it's going to be paid at closing. The second would be your ongoing cost. Once you become a homeowner in a home in the homeowners association, you would be responsible for paying dues. Now the dues of each association are paid differently depending on their rules. You may be required to pay monthly, quarterly, semi-annually or annually, depending on what they have set up for their homeowners. Now these dues are responsible for pay paying for your amenities that you are offered at each homeowners association. So you want to factor that into your monthly cost. Are the dues for that association something that you can take on as a monthly expense? Because it is something that would be required and not optional for you to be a part of that association. The third thing that comes into play when you're buying a home in an HOA and something to consider would be when it comes time to sell your home. As we've already talked about, there are upfront costs that can be negotiated between a buyer and seller when a home is purchased in an HOA. And that is also true when it comes time to sell your home. Through the years, as you're a homeowner in that association, dues and fees are going to change. So what you paid or negotiated to pay to buy into the neighborhood, it may change by the time you, you get ready to sell. So you want to think about those things. How often are the HOAs changing their, their upfront cost? Is that something that happens every year? Is that something that happens every five years? Because as you are becoming a homeowner in that association, you may not have to pay it as a seller depending on what's happening in the market, but it could be an expense for you when it comes time to sell. So those are some things to think about when you're going to be buying a home in an HOA. Those are the costs that are involved when you buy a home in an HOA. If you would like to know more information about a specific neighborhood and the costs that are involved in purchasing and living in that neighborhood, we would love to help you. You can shoot me an email with my email link below, or you can also text me at the phone number below, and we'd be happy to help you. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. A new video will come out each Wednesday, and we would love to be a help for you. You're thinking about an H buying a home in an H buy a home, mm. feel free to give us a shout out uh, and have, an, and if you, if, if that, and that the cost that could come, I hope this, <laughs>